And now for something completely different on this channel. We've got a Hot Wheels K case. It's a 5785, that means short cards. I think that's a, a first on YouTube. And this box is provided by my buddy JK, who is on the left to me. So you will hear him during the video commenting on the stuff that we see here in this box. So let's take a look at what is in here. Let's cut this one open and uh, we'll see what we have in here. Well, of course, we already looked it up. We have a kind of an idea yeah. of what is in here, but it's still a, a surprise for some of these. So I'm going to do this a little bit different than uh, the usual unboxings that other channels do. I'm going to do it CDC style. All yeah, right. It's the best style. Yeah, thank you, uh, JK. So here we got one uh, that also was in the uh, J case, the uh, 1986 Toyota van. Let's uh, open this yeah. one up, as we are going to do with most of the licensed ones at least. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And throw it on the ground so that Absolutely. you can hear uh, the sound. This one got the good uh, taillights in the back. Yes, the tempo is nice. The uh bottom part is rather hideous looking gray plastic. The I do plastic, say that. yeah. The well, plastic is hideous. you got a full metal roof, so they have to skip uh, metal somewhere, yeah. I guess. And uh, that's what we're getting, yeah. I'm afraid. Next up, we got the Region Express, which looks fascinating in gold, I must say. Absolutely. It's not a casting I collect, but uh, uh, pretty cool. Yeah, it, it, Deco it does there. have its appeal, because even though it's, if it, it is fantasy, obviously, but it is something that you could conceivably see in Daiko Kofuto or a place like that. Yeah. So definitely a cool car. Definitely nice. Or a cool model. Yeah. Ah, the coupe clip. I've got the uh, silver one on my uh, keys, my car keys. Wow. So uh, I definitely uh, would like one of these for my house keys too. Okay. Here we got the 94 Bugatti EB110 SS. Ryu's rides, so designed by Ryu Asada. Yeah. That is the most boring color, in my opinion. That yeah. Gray. Well. The yellow and blue were nice. I think when they do a black one, that will be the most boring one, in my opinion. Fair enough. <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's uh, you can see the details very good on the silver. You can see this uh, yeah. these vents here in the back, and then here yes. these vents in the back. These are all for uh, ventilation of the engine uh, area, yeah. I believe, because there's a lot of heat in there. Wasn't there something gold plated in the engine bay on these uh, for heat protection? I'm not oh, sure. I haven't seen the real thing in the real. World. I'm not sure. Um, I remember something about that, but might not be this car exactly. Yeah. I would definitely do a wheel swap. Those uh, wheels are not the nicest looking one on well, the car. Well, I know Quirk Garage 1999 likes these a lot, but uh, you know, I don't mind, but yeah. I can imagine that uh, not everyone is a fan. A good car, nevertheless. 68 Dodge Dart. Wow. Very colorful. But that's what it uh, needs to be in the art cars, I guess. So we got uh, blue and yellow wheels and a uh, very flashy tempo. Uh, there's definitely going to be fans for this one, but it's not, uh, not something I uh, collect. Here's uh, the first Batmobile, and I think there's going to be uh, many more. Again, not something I collect, but mm. uh, I can... Uh, Appreciate the uh, the uh, collectors that uh, that find this interesting. Um, it's uh, it's definitely a theme worth collecting, I guess, but uh, just not for me. Yeah, not for me either. But I do understand the appeal. So uh, maybe in a few years, people will be interested when there are uh, yeah, the, like that one might be interesting in a couple of years when you don't find them in shops anymore. Sure. And here we got another Batmobile. Just like I said, there's going to be a bunch of them in here, as there usually are. 
classic TV series, Batmobile. Mm-hmm. Kind of a uh, tuned version. Yeah, tuned indeed. Okay. Well, again, a collector's item for someone. Count Muscula. It looks a bit like a real car, but I'm not sure why they gave it uh, such a silly name. Uh, this could be some uh, American muscle car. Indeed. But uh, but giving it that name kind of confuses me. It's a nice uh, color. I like the the flat green. That's definitely cool. Yes, satin green is very interesting in this one. Custom 2018 Ford Mustang GT. Spoiler alert. I think that was the Super in the previous case, wasn't it? If I'm not mistaken. It's got that spoiler lip that you yeah. push up for the uh, the track. Indeed. So this is uh, definitely a car designed for the track. Metal spoiler on this one. Pretty wild deco. And a white interior with the, the urinal for a steering wheel. Yeah, the white interior is a bit... Well, it's part of that part of plastic, obviously. But other than that, it's uh, maybe a bit weird in a car like this. Here we got the rocket box. You know what a rocket does? It flies off into the air. Wow. That was a good rocket. (laughs) Then we got the uh, GTR 35 by uh, Liberty Walk. The Dream Garage. Yep. Not going to read the whole name because that's just too much. But the car is nice. Yeah, got the lens headlights. Hot Wheels Deco. No real lights or tail lights. No. Unfortunately. Just got the side deco and then the front deco for the grill and the GTR logo. Yeah. Um, But you know, not bad. And here's his uh, older sibling, Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR Liberty Walk. Yeah. That was in your previous video, indeed. Yes. From uh, JK's. My latest Hot Wheels video. This was also JK's, indeed. Nice one. Very tiny wheels. I think these are the smallest wheels I've ever seen on the Hot Wheels. Those are very small, indeed. And it's got the same color base for the uh, spoiler Again, in the front. The wheel swap would be good because then it would fill the wheel well much mm-hmm. better as well. Mm-hmm. So yes. Definitely a wheel swap uh, material. Here we got another Bugatti, so we keep that for the uh, thumbnail picture at the end. Yep. Uh, this is a nice one. Porsche 911 GT3 in that uh, Bugatti blue. Mm-hmm. I think they had a lot of paint left from that uh, Bugatti last year. <laughs> So we got the uh, black painted roof. That's not plastic. It's just a metal painted black. Indeed. Lens headlights, Porsche logo, some black ans- accents on the uh, frunk, and very nicely detailed in the back. Yep. It does have a paint chip, uh, unfortunately. Oh that is uh, a bummer. And uh, indeed, the black on the roof, just like I saw one in store, is uh, a little bit funky. You see that? It's got that swirls in there. I, saw, yeah. I found one in store um, in um, Zeeman for 199 and didn't buy it because of the there were bubbles and stuff and, and, and the paint on the roof. So and this is even worse with the paint chip. That's unfortunate. Why is it always the Porsches that have uh, issues? Oh, I haven't paid attention, but then again, I don't buy that many Porsches. Okay, I do. 2006 Pontiac GTO drag strip theme. So first time I'm holding one of these in my hand because not something I collect, but uh, uh, I think this had an Australian version too, and uh, that's why uh, Australian collectors like this one too. So you got the shoot in the back and then this uh, mm-hmm. wheelie bar. Yeah, it's okay. GT Scorcher. Well, I think it can scorch like that. Absolutely. 65 Mustang 2 plus 2 fastback. Well, I kind of like this. I know you don't, JK. But, no, I uh, don't. And well, I, I know. To his own. Yeah, that's right. And I know Joe of XLT Off Road Bear will like this too because he likes green cars and he cool. likes Mustangs. 
go faster stripes on top. Yep. Those uh, silver things to hold down the bonnet. Ah, and then yeah. uh, the pony on the side with the, the stripe. Nothing in the rear because you already get three tempo size, but it's not bad. I like it. Yep. Mod rod. Well, to me, this is garbage also. Mod rod. Mod, what is it? Mod rod or mod pod? Mod rod. Because it's a, it's a hot rod. So it's a modified yeah, yeah, hot yeah, rod, yeah. you know. Uh, I guess there's some enthusiast for this, but uh, to me, it's a bit too... Uh, Funky. Okay, but not as funky as the two previous ones. No, but those had a name that just asked to be <laughs> launched into the air. I couldn't help it. Indeed. 1970 Pontiac Firebird. Okay, a lot of Firebird fans out there. Mm -hmm. I like them a little bit more stock than this. Uh, this is, a, well, a bit wild without the, the hood. And the engine sticking through does have nice uh, headlight details. I like that. That's kind of cool. And some sponsors on the side. Chrome interior. That's a bit funky, but you know, to get the chrome engine, I guess. And we get a license plate on the back that says uh, Hot Wheels Legends. Oh yeah, this is one of those Hot Wheels Legends cars. Mm. Okay, so this is a real existing vehicle like this. Maybe not that color, but this um, this setup. Yep. Oh, we got another one of these. So, can to keep that yes, for indeed. the thumbnail video. Indeed. Another coupe clip. Oh, wow. So, you can have... Uh, you can have one and I can have one. Yeah. I haven't yet decided if I want one, though. But Okay, uh, you can ch f decide afterwards. You can yes. think about it. Fast fish. Well, I don't have any water here. Otherwise, I would uh, dump it in there. But there it goes. Got an extra we one We can of use these. the toilet. Yeah, but that's a little bit too far away from here. Oh, yeah. I, don't, I cannot throw that far. Indeed. 2020 Toyota Tacoma. That's a cool one. I think they uh, did a great job on this one. In real life, not as good as the Hilux, but, you know, it looks cool, at least to me. No, you're not into that kind of stuff, JK, but, you know. Oh, it looks, looks okay. Luckily, we have another version of that Porsche 911 GT3. Yeah. So, I'm um, going to keep this exactly. carded okay. for the thumbnail video, but this one does not have a paint chip, and the yeah. black paint on the roof seems to be pretty okay. Wow. So, I think uh, you are getting lucky on that one. Okay. Another Batmobile, as I predicted. So, that's number two of this okay. casting. We've got the Skull Shaker, also by Rio Sada. The only interesting about this is that uh, it's got a moving part. Other than that, uh, yeah, not for me. Got another one of these. So good, good. Keep that carded for the thumbnail. Yep. Armadillo. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah, indeed. Uh, I don't even think is there something metal on here. I think the top part is metal, but feels very light, and you know. Disney Pixar Lightyear movie screen uh, time. Okay, so it will so that's probably why. have some audience from uh, people who yeah, like the, uh, the movie. Yeah, probably. Um, okay. I heard some positive comments on that, but again, it's not for me. Another mod rod, seriously. Well, we already expressed our opinions about yes. that. And another armadillo. Jeez. Oh, wow. And here we got a dinosaur. Velociraptor. Okay, maybe my nephew will uh, will be interested in no. this. Okay, good for him. He likes good dinosaurs. Yes, absolutely. 2020 Toyota Tacoma is an extra yep. on the card. Wow, three already. Three. JK, woo, woo, you must woo. be thrilled with this. Oh man. oh man. Wow, you are so lucky. Another of these. Did your nephew like this? Well, maybe he he will because of that uh, that face on there. Okay. Maybe he'll like that. Uh, Does he like it so much that he wants three of them? Uh, no, I don't oh think so. Okay. He's, bad. he's been known to give me back a car that I gave him, <laughs> or a few of them. So, Dude, uh, he knows what he likes. Uh, definitely not three of the same. Excellent. The future collector, definitely. Yeah. Fast fish. Nope. Another Toyota Tacoma. Nice job, JK. Thank you. 
Okay. We have three Tacomas so far. Yeah. Wow. So interesting to see uh, if this assortment is different. Assortment is different than the uh, the European, uh, sorry, the American or long yeah, carriage assortment. Indeed. Um, here we get the hat gasket. Well, since it already has a helmet on, it should survive the fall. That was a good throw. Nine, uh, so, sorry, sixty nine Cobra Camaro. I was always going to say ninety six. I don't have this lecture though, but. Sometimes in another language, seems like I do. Uh, nicely detailed casting in the front here. I like that grill. So we got uh, Camaro here printed on the hood and on the side with some uh, white stripes. Uh, it's okay. This is an interesting one. The Hot Wheels kit concept. Kit standing mm. for... Night Industries 2000, so it's a Night wow. Rider, of course. You remember? Yeah, some things I remember. <laughs> I have a lot of holes in okay. my brain, but that I remember. Uh, interesting thing, uh, licensed by Universal and uh, also licensed by Night Rider, apparently. Um, this is kind of cool. Uh, I like this. Uh, it's kind of strange that it is not based on a real car like the original mm. uh, Night Rider was. But then again, you know, licensing stuff and, you know, I get it. Uh, it's much easier to uh, to just make up one your own and then you just own the own the, the, the thing. It's the property of, of Hot Wheels and, uh, well, maybe not because it says uh, Universal on there. So, yeah, I don't know how that works. But anyways. So could that have been like a a concept that they had before they ended up with the... Mm. One that ended up in the TV series. I strongly doubt it. I think yeah. this, uh, it looks a bit too modern to be that old. But then again, Indeed. it's not that That's modern true. that um, it would be so recent. So if they just designed this now, because it has a 2021 copyright. So it's a new model for 2022. Yeah. They kind of try to... Uh, Give it an 80 styling, if you ask me. I don't know what you think, JK, but this... You know what this looks like? A uh, a vector. You know those vector cars? Mm, um, yeah. They have kind of a similar styling. And there's a few other vehicles. Uh, I kind of recognize a Lotus Esprit in here. Um, somewhat. Kind of that, that shape. You know, there's a few vehicles it resembles, but, you know... That's always going to be with a well, fancy think one. Of this uh, Bugatti. Sure, it's a little bit more rounded, the Bugatti, but yep. definitely has that sloped nose. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. Without a wing, it uh, definitely uh, definitely has some resemblance. I agree with that. So not bad for a fantasy. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a nice one. Yes. McLaren F1. Four inch this time. Yeah. I think the. First release in silver was a great one. They do a great job on these headlights, you know. A 3D style headlights. Yeah. That's really nice. And of course, you get the taillights too with the grill and stuff. Yeah, sweet. Definitely a winner for me. Yes, the wheels are boring in my eyes. Yeah. But a wheel swap will uh, fix that. Take care of that very quickly. Kick cart. Oh my god. Can kick the bucket. Yes. Oh, JK, you're going what? to be so happy. You got another Four Tacoma. Toyota Tacomas. Yeah, I really wonder if in the uh, long card assortments there's so much Tacomas. Four Tacomas. That's crazy. And we are getting to the first Liberty Works Lamborghini Huracan Coupe in white. Let's see. It's white paint. I'm always um, kind of worried about white paint having paint chips because, you know, White paint tends to yeah. chip easier, but a quick check told me it's going to be fine, I guess, by the looks of it. Yeah. So we get a side deco and a top deco for mm -hmm. this front part here. Uh, it's okay. I'm not a huge fan of white, as you know, but it's a good yeah. model. Yes, absolutely. Here's a, another of those uh, Ford Mustangs, so we don't need to open that. Okay. 
There's another Batmobile, as I predicted. Wow. There are going to be a bunch in here. Quite a bunch of Batmobiles. Okay, the next one is going to be very exciting for the both Ooh. of us. Because we have a super oh, treasure man. hunt. <laughs> Can you believe that? First ever box we unbox on a shortcut and we get yeah. a super treasure hunt. That is insane. We and didn't a good car as well, Skyline. Yeah, the you really the world. you bought this case amongst other cars for this one. Absolutely. So now is the top question, which I didn't ask you in advance. Yeah. If we find a super treasure hunt, <laughs> do we open it? Because I never thought this is tough. I this never tough. thought in the world that yes. we would get a super treasure hunt on a short card. Seriously, I have some super treasure hunts, okay. and I keep them all carded because I'm not interested in the car. Yeah. So I'm thinking that over time it might increase in value yeah maybe yeah with that one i'm torn because i really like that car okay shall we put it uh, aside let's put it aside and I you will, think uh, about it have to think about it for uh, a moment it'll uh, be interesting for the thumbnail too to have gorgeous. it carded that is absolutely that is actually model. beautiful and I, I was seeing the, the the color when it was sitting there and i was thinking wow. sure enough it's not going to be one because i thought the regular one was not as shiny as this um yeah it's uh, it's that great. Uh, I'm I'm shaking a little bit, but uh, yeah, maybe you can tell because this is the first ever shortcut super treasure hunt I'm holding in my hands. I've never found one. Uh, I have a few super treasure hunts. Uh, they were on the long cards, yep. but uh, shortcut. Well, heard about it, seen pictures, but never ever um, actually held one in my well, hands. Well, now we know that they exist. Yes, now we have the actual proof because, you know, photographs can also be photoshopped and stuff. Yeah, we definitely have to keep it carded for now so that you can put it in the thumbnail. Okay, cool. I'm fine with that. That will uh, be a good thumbnail for sure. Corvette CHR in the Then and Now series. Yeah. Probably my favorite series of Hot Wheels. Okay. And... Uh, that is my favorite Corvette. Okay, cool. The C8, I think it's the first. Well, it is the first mid-engine Corvette. Yeah. European so. style or Euro Corvette, it's also called sometimes. Yeah, indeed. It's got the lens headlights. That's cool. Always like that. And uh, yeah, it's nice deco for sure. That is a nice model. Yeah, nice one. Absolutely. Beautiful. Turbine Sublime. Does this have a, a feature? Oh, it just has the, the lip that goes up. Well, okay. I thought it had uh, some kind of a turbine in there that when you uh, rolled it, it kind of moved or something yeah, like that. Yeah, 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 yeah indeed. Uh, it has something sticking out of the roof that you okay. seem to be able to push or something or slide for it. I don't know, but maybe, maybe we can open it and see what happens. Are you curious to see what it does? Oh, I don't of think I'm it's curious. I don't think it's going to do anything. This here. Does it do something? No, it doesn't. Oh, man. Yeah, that's disappointing. Well, maybe you like the wheels. No, you don't. Uh, like no, I don't because the <laughs> tires are uh, blue as well. Yeah. They should be black. Then they would be good for a wheel swap if they had black tires. And painting the tires doesn't usually end up looking that good. Yeah. Hot Wheels kit okay. concept again. So Another one of these. Yeah, oh. it's not bad to have another one. Hyper Rocker. Well, it can oh. rock over there. And another one which goes, oh yes, your uh, nephew like this one. Yeah, okay. He can too. Well, I don't think he wants to, but anyways. <laughs> well, Cosmic <laughs> Coop. Well, let's try to see if we can get it uh, into the uh, Cosmo. Yeah. And then it dropped. Let's see what happens <laughs> <It dropped. laughs> your camera. <laughs> it dropped on the uh, tripod <laughs> and got stuck. Oh dear. Okay. Aston, Ooh, Martin, Aston Martin V12 Speedster. Not a bad one. Uh, yeah. Most people think it's a bit funky like that. It is for sure. With the, you know, the separation between uh, yeah. driver and passenger. Indeed. And it's left-hand drive also, which is kind of weird, weird for a that British is car. Weird for an Aston Martin. For uh, just for information, uh, a lot of Americans think that everyone in Europe drives on the other side of the road, but it's only on the uh, British islands that uh, they drive on the other side. But for many Americans, Europe is the UK. But I just wanted to point that out. V12 on the license plate. That is a nice one, as a car. As yeah. I said, a bit weird, fine, but still interesting. Sure, 
That's uh, that's the correct word for it. Interesting is, uh, is definitely what it is. Breaking speed, so that's kind of a Lego thing. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe my nephew will like this because he's very okay. much into Lego. Yeah, 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 good for him. So, Excellent. oh, next one here is uh, oh, definitely man. a favorite of yours. One of the yes. reasons why you got the case, one right? One of the reasons why I bought this case, indeed. 1995 yeah, Mazda RX-7 in the Falcon yeah. livery. Hot Wheels Drift, pink I theme. I have 30 of those, just like you have 30 of all of those. <laughs> And I can I imagine. One million RX sevens, if I could afford it. I can imagine. Well, we all have our own uh, castings we are uh, crazy about, you know? That's just uh, a reality. And everyone has a different one. And that's the cool thing about it. Yeah. About collecting. 84 Audi Sport Quattro. So there's well, only one in here, which is really disappointing. It is indeed. This is. Predominantly for the European market. Yeah, absolutely. So why would you only put one of these in here absolutely. and three Tacomas or four? Yeah, which we don't. We don't get these here. All. We have the Hilux. Well, everyone in Europe, well, every car enthusiast in Europe knows Audi Quattro. Indeed. So that's really annoying. Why the, these assortments are not tailor made mm, to the the, the the region or the market, the market yeah. where they are meant for. Um, they really should do a better job on that. Yeah. Uh, I'll keep this card for the thumbnail picture, you know, because... Uh, really? Yeah. You want to open it up? Well, I definitely do want to open it up eventually, but... Uh, yeah? Yeah, we can keep it carded for now if you want. Yeah, I'll put it in the thumbnail picture, because that's okay, only okay. one, you know. Got the 40 Ford pickup. It's licensed, so going to open it up. Doesn't do much for me because, as I've said many times before, old American pickup trucks don't do it for me. Mm. Uh, I like the newer ones uh, for some reason. Yeah, indeed. But these older things, um, you know, I mean, there's a lot of enthusiasts for these, but. Uh, it does have. Okay, the wheels are okay, so I can use those for wheels. Well, they are bigger in the back than the front, so that uh, yeah, creates that a little bit of an issue for a uh, wheel swap. switch needed that. Uh, yeah, like that's the true. Corvette C6 is a good example. Okay. Of if you want to do yeah. a wheel swap, then you need bigger wheels okay. in the rear okay, than cool. in the front. Well, you know your stuff, obviously. Another Batmobile, as I predicted. And here's another reason why you got the yes. case. The uh, Liberty Walk the Super reason, Silhouette Nissan Silvia S15. Absolutely gorgeous. Again, only one in this case. Yeah. Uh, maybe not as popular as uh, an Audi Quattro, I guess, in Europe. But still... Yeah, fair enough. Still a lot of people are going to go after this. So I'm, I'm inclined to keep this carded also for, for the, the thumbnail, thumbnail video, okay. uh, f photograph, I mean. Yeah. MST Suzuka. Yeah, I'm speechless. I say garbage. I think it goes as fast as you can drive on the Suzuka. So let's yeah. see how fast <laughs> cars go on the Suzuka. There it goes. Well, that pretty was pretty fast. far. Okay, we got an extra. That's cool, right? Yeah, indeed. You just mentioned you want as many as you Do can you have. Do you want this to your uh, thumbnail? Uh, yeah, you I'll put, put it on this side. Yep, yeah. definitely. The Twin Mill, a classic. So definitely has its, uh, its uh, fan base. So we got to respect that. It's called Twin Mill because it got those two engines, of course. Um, this is 2018 copyright. Okay, so that's... Uh, Pretty recent, but there's definitely been def uh, several twin mills then and now. In the meantime, JK is playing with cars next to me. <laughs> yes, of course. They are meant to be played with. <laughs> JK, look at that. Another Batmobile. Oh, Aren't wow. you happy? I am so happy. I'm so thrilled. So For your nephew. I definitely see one similarity in the assortments with the Batmobiles because yeah. the American long cards also have a lot of Batmobiles in there. Another fast fish, so let's uh, swim it. That's uh, yeah, let's swim it as there. fast as the other one. No, fish don't uh, are not that fast oh, usually. That is a cool car. That is an electric uh, hypercar, the Automobili yeah. Pininfarina Battista. Uh, this was uh, new in the previous case, so it's not really necessary to have it in the thumbnail. Okay. So let's I can open it. Uh, open it up. I think you opened it in your uh, video yesterday. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah. But I uh, did open up a few other ones like the the Skylines too. 
Yeah, um, as I mentioned in my video yesterday, taillights tend to be rubbed off, but this one's good. That is good, yeah, indeed. I don't know what it says on the license plate, some kind of uh, autograph maybe by Mr. Batista uh, Farina, who knows. Um, you see some issues here with the casting. I mentioned that also yeah. newer castings often have flashing and stuff like that because uh, the mold needs to uh, wear out a little bit. Uh, when it's new, it's got some uh, some stuff going on in the mold. You see there's some issues here and there. Yeah, and, absolutely. And that's the problem I had with finding a good one at uh, the little supermarkets. Uh -huh. So I looked at a lot of different ones and the one I got ended up to be a little bit light on the paint. If we can compare this, eh, it's yeah, kind, indeed. I kind of hard to see on the camera, yeah, but, yeah, sure, but in real life, in you real see, life this one is yeah, better for sure. Yeah. Mine is a little bit light on the paint, Absolutely. but you know, yeah. at least it doesn't have that much flashing, but you know, yeah. that's how it goes with new casting so often. Fast gassing. Well, let's see how fast it can gas. We should get, have a tournament of that. See how far Indeed. we go. I will. I, I will tell you once we have uh, yeah. <laughs> done all this. Let's check which was the which went the longest. Okay, Ford Mustang GT concept. Okay, kind of cool. GT concept. Not for you, J.K. But definitely I think not for me, especially cool. as it has the uh, police. Uh, yeah, lamps, you uh, you hate police. The, that's I right. Hate the police. <laughs> So we got the push bar in front, that is metal, part of the body, so that's cool, no plastic. Got blue window piece, so we got blue light bar, I'm totally down for that. And then we got track patrol on the side and on the roof, so it's not bad. Not my favorite uh, Mustang, but... That is an example for you of a car where if you want to do a wheel swap, you need bigger wheels in yeah, the rear. That's right. Often it's the older castings that still have that, but this is... Apparently a new one. I didn't know that. 2021 copyright, so 2022 okay. release. Uh, interesting. Cool. Another uh, Lamborghini. Mm -hmm. So we can have one for the thumbnail. Yeah. So at least we get an extra one of that. I think this one had some uh, color problems. Was it so? No, it's fine. Okay, that was it's fine. fine. Wheelie chair. So this well. one can wheel itself oh, out. Yeah. That one almost oh, hit the ceiling. Did you see that? Yeah. And it can get, get kicked in the butt by oh, this one. Uh, we still have one winner. Okay. The Vansinator or the Vansinator. The Vansinator. Um, okay, let's see yeah. how it is in the contest. Okay, it's got that uh, lip thing also, but that's not a good enough a moving part no. to uh, consider getting opened. Okay, oh, wow. that's a winner. That's a winner. And then the last one here is kind of interesting, the okay. Honda Super Cub. Oh yeah, it is a Honda. Whoops, see, that's why we had some padding on the table. Mm -hmm. So I think there's not a lot of room for information on the base. <laughs> it just says copyright Mattel. And the uh, wow. the uh, production date R14. And okay, so that's the only the thing, thing they can fit on there. Uh, I think the um, uh, gunmetal gray is metal. And everything else yeah. is plastic, so the black is plastic. Yeah. Got the seat painted. The wheels are nice. Yeah. So shiny red wheels. Three spokes metal, with the, yeah. the the ring. Wheels are really cool in that. Yeah, that's cool indeed. Got the rivet here on the side. That's interesting. Yeah, that's a nice one. Will it stand on its own? Oh yeah, it, it does. does. Okay. Let's uh, show yeah. that. Remove the box and. Uh, Slide the camera down. There you can see how it stands on its own. That's actually pretty good. So we got a, a few highlights here. Well, this was from the previous case, but yeah. still, uh, still a highlight. Uh, this for is, me, uh, it's a highlight. So not so much for you, I guess. Yeah. But, uh, um, me, this is know. all previous yeah, case. We have so many Tacomas. Uh, this is also previous case, actually, but it's still a highlight for me. This portion. It's kind of yeah. actually can't fit in the picture. Um, this is a highlight too, but it's also from the uh, previous from case. Previous, yeah. So really doesn't really count, yeah. but we're going to put them in here anyways, yeah. just for the uh, the fun of it, like that. Um, I think this is also pretty good. Yeah, Bugatti highlight is wise. Nice. But of course, the biggest highlight of them all is this one. Yeah, absolutely. That is. Crazy, unbelievable! First case unboxing, and you score a super treasure hunt on a short card. On a short card, that's nuts. 
Thanks for watching. Okay. Bye.